Welcome to society. We hope you enjoy your stay, and please feel free to be yourself, as long as it's in the right way. Make sure you love your body, not too much or tear you down. We'll bully you for smiling, and then wonder why you frown. We'll tell you that you're worthless, that you shouldn't make a sound, and then cry with all the others as you're buried in the ground. You can fall in love with anyone, as long as it's who we choose, and we'll let you have your opinions, but please shape them to our views. Welcome to society. We promise that we won't deceive. And one more rule, now that you're here, there's no way you can leave. Aaron Hansen was born June 22, 1995 in Brisbane, Australia. Not much is known about her earlier years growing up, as she's still relatively young with a blossoming career. She had a fascination with poetry and decided to start writing poems in her preteen years. She created her first poem blog at 11 years old and took poetry more seriously at 15 to 16 with an unknown current job. We sent out a message via the only platform she was remotely active on, Instagram, but received no response, and we assume she gains inspiration from both global events and her own environment. The poem is a single stanza and does not follow any specific rhyme scheme or syllable structure. When the poem does rhyme, the structure is found in either two or four line segments, I find I mean segments, and there is always a fill line in between rhyming lines. In the poem, the author chooses to characterize society as we or will, both of which are used in the poem a total of five times. Another example of this is how she uses the word you eleven times with Jesus. This sounds the message that no one can be free from the flaws of society. <coughs> okay, um, in the first line of the poem, a typical reader begins with the hospitality you'd expect from a hotel. You mean a saloon. <laughs> yeah, 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 sure, shut the fuck up. With the line, we hope you enjoy your stay. On the surface level, there is no clear difference between any typical hotel management lines and an unlivable toxic environment, but things change at the third line. Here we see where society referred to as we begins to draw a boundary between the different and too different. Discrimination caused by lack of understanding, empathy, and interactions create a conflict, and this line displays it perfectly. From Jim Crow laws to fighting against the Equality Act, society has historically disliked different people and attempts of self-expression from said people. What qualifies as different and too different is a blurry line that changes every day. This line explains how so long as your identity and personality fit into what society deems as normal, you can be whatever you want. Lines 4 to 11 deal with different problems created by such boundaries. Let's start with the first two lines to get a better grasp of the poem's tone, Alright, that's we? enough, that's, that's enough, that's enough. Shut the f*** up. Alright, you're done, you're done. Yeah, Alright, see ya. Make sure you love your body, not too much will tear you down. These two lines deal with a still present problem, which we interpreted literally as body positivity, although this line can be stretched to a mental and even spiritual level as well. A good example of not too much what will tear you down is Nike, which made advertisements marketed specifically towards obese people. The sentence makes zero grammatical sense. Did I ask? <coughs> a good example of not too much will tear you down is Nike, which made advertisements marketed specifically towards obese people in an attempt to make obese people buy their fitness products. This is just one example of how companies to this day view obese people as nothing more than just another group they can market to and extort for profit. The following lines 6 to 7 will bully you for smiling and then wonder why you frown. Ah, uh, that, that's enough, that's enough. I'm in my f***. <laughs> These lines, in our opinion, deal with a very old concept of privilege. Pri privilege. <laughs> <laughs> a very old concept of privilege. In this case, will bully you for smiling. Could be a situation where people attack you because you believe that you're only where you are because you are starting circumstances or getting lucky and unfair advantage. This line could also be a reference to jealousy or envy, but we'll move on for now. The final topic reference in line 8 to 11 will tell you that you're worthless, that you shouldn't make a sound, and cry with all the others when you're buried in the ground. Alright, note for the editor, mm -hmm. uh, future Aiden, um, make sure to push his movie over. <laughs> Lines 8 through 11 references the constantly growing cyber hatred community. With the increased strength of the bandwagon effect and how cancel culture is really taking its place in society, it's no coincidence that youth suicide rates have increased by over 1400% in the last 20 years in tangent with the growth of these social media companies that are infamous for housing these cyber hate platforms. The sudden increase in depression and anxiety in young adults and the youth is sending shockwaves around social media. 
Yet it's hardly talked about in the news. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's oh, great. No, oh, that's that's oh. great. That's great. Uh, can you please speak like a normal uh, person? Oh, okay, Jesus, dude. Come on. Okay, whatever. Um, it's only when one of those kids or young adults snaps and causes a mass shooting do people cry or pay any attention. Only after people have been buried in the ground. Does anyone care? You can fall in love with anyone as long as who we choose. There's still a large portion of the. <laughs> You can fall in love with anyone as long as who we choose. There is still a large portion of the population who don't believe in gay marriage, and a lot of people are still struggling to keep up with all the existing gender and sexuality types, leading to people deciding to hate, refuse to sympathize with, or even try to understand these groups. It's led to a lot of hate towards these communities, as well as neglect from a lot of parents and grandparents. The next two lines encompass a more broad issue, please dear god don't make a stupid accent and we'll let you have your opinions but please shape them to our views these two lines relate to how in today's society your political personal and past opinions all seem to define your personality and who you are especially online you're allowed to have opinions online there's nothing wrong with that however two problems arise in the process groups with hateful or negative views can find others and sympathize with them thus giving them more influence making them more dangerous the second problem arises from the fact that if your thoughts opinions or ideas are too radical then you suddenly become an outcast due exclusively to your opinion. That's so fucking stupid. Oh, thank fucking goodness. The final lines of the poem send the clearest message. Welcome to society. We promise that we won't deceive. Now, at the end of the poem, the first two lines try to emanate the same reception tone to the audience. However, the reader is not mature and knows there's a double meaning. In the first line of the two, it's written word for word as the first line of the poem, but the second line conveys a more cynical message. We promise we won't deceive is analogous to a known liar now telling you if they changed without showing any proof or effort like Zooey. This is my candy bar! Liar, liar, plants for hire! It's pants on fire, Patrick. Well, you would know! Liar! That's how the second to the last set hey. of lines sound to the reader. Hey. <coughs> Now at the end of the line, the world of the rule that you are here, there is no way you can leave- Oh f I should actually probably say that normally, right? <clears throat> Excuse me. Now at the end of the poem, and one more rule, now that you're here, there's no way you can leave. This is the darkest message. Although you feel like we're gonna be isolated ourselves from society at any time, there's no real way you can entirely avoid it. You can suppress or ignore society, but you can't escape it at all its flaws. Oh, okay, okay, alright. You know what? You know what? Yeah, okay, yeah. So 'tis as it's as long as as long as I don't as I don't I don't like the double enunciation as long as it's who we choose that's how you pronounce it because that's the fuck